What's the word, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Will. We're back with another episode of Life After Prison. We got some breaking news today. Here we got another school shooting with three kids from pre-K to kin uh, sixth grade. <clears throat> and three adults were shot and killed by a 28-year-old female who ultimately was shot and killed by police herself. When police did uh, finally end the situation, she had a number of weapons and ammunition. It's, it's incredible. It was a religious school, a Presbyterian school. Um, and still I have no motive, but let's listen. Crazy. I'm going to give you a law enforcement overview of what's happened this morning. With me is Kendra Loney from the Nashville Fire Department, who will talk about the fire department's actions in regard to this morning's call. Uh, this is going to be a brief update as to what has occurred. There will be more from this spot later uh, in the morning with Chief John Drake and others. Now, before we go any further, what is going on with you people today? What's going on with the, the school shootings and taking your troubles and your, your your psychological problems out on innocent children? Innocent children. Innocent people. You know, people... I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand. You know... Mentality, mental, mental, mental awareness needs to be, it needs to be more, it needs to be more done. People need to reach out when they need help. You know, they don't do it and they're acting out in the wrong way and they kill, they're killing, they're killing our future, our children, innocent kids. I, I don't understand it. At 10.13 this morning, the police department received a call of an active shooter inside Covenant School, the Covenant Presbyterian Church. The police department response was swift. Officers entered the first story of the school, began clearing it. They heard shots coming from the second level. They immediately went to the gunfire. When the officers got to the second level, they saw a shooter, a female, who was firing, the officers engaged her. She was fatally shot by responding police officers. There was a five member team who was on the, that was on the second floor at that time. Two individuals from that five member team opened fire on the shooter. We know at this point that this shooter is a female. Uh, she appears to be in her teens, although her identification has not been confirmed at this juncture. We know that she was armed with at least two assault-type rifles and a handgun. We are efforting now to identify her. She entered the school through a side entrance and traversed her way from the first floor to the second floor, firing multiple shots. We now know that there are three students who were fatally wounded, as well as three adults inside the school. We are working to identify those victims, including the shooter. A total of seven persons were killed as a result of this morning's incident at the school. By 1027, the shooter was deceased. The officers had engaged the shooter by 1027, and she was deceased. Again, I said the first call came in at 1013 this morning. We'll have more details to give you later in the morning. Chief Drake will be here in a bit. 14 minutes of young kids and people in a horrific, horrific fear for their life. With gunfire being shot around and killed. Now, Kendra Loney from Nashville Fire. 
fire department crews are dispatched for active shooter incidents as well um, for medical support, but also for an RTF response, which is a rescue task force response to go in alongside of uh, MNPD response. Um, our crews were right there on the scene to provide medical aid to any survivors, um, but also be there uh, for victims so that we could try life-saving efforts um, in this case. So we went in as soon as it was safe for our responders to do so, to try to provide life-saving efforts for those that were impacted uh, by this incident and this tragedy. Um, our crews were able to be on scene to pull out those that had viable signs of life, um, those that were still showing uh, the option for to be saved. Um, and we did make transport of three uh, individuals and three children and then um, two adults that were taken from the scene. Um, our crews then set up a reunification unit. That reunification unit is at 2100 Woodmont Boulevard. That's where parents can go uh, to be reunited with their children. Uh, all of the remaining students were able to be escorted out of the building with faculty and staff. Um, we're not sure about the processes that they had in place, but we were on scene to help Help them mitigate anyone from seeing exactly uh, what else was going on but we're sure that they heard the chaos that was surrounding this um, so we do have mental health specialists and professionals that are at that reunification we site do. for both the students and the families that are going to be affected by this today uh, our OEM uh, units were able to provide buses to make transport from the Covenant School to the reunification site we had one bus that carried 74 students students and faculty staff members to the unification reunification site and an additional bus that had 34 students on them. So all of those persons were carried. Um, it was difficult for us to kind of identify who was just there as part of staff for the church versus who was there for uh, the school because it's all housed in one building. Um, but at this time, we were able to get that number of persons transported out of the building um, and into that reunification site. So that is where parents can go to be reunited with their students. There is a hotline being set up for parents to call, um, but right now that is where they should go, 2100 Woodmont Boulevard, which is Woodmont Baptist Church. Um, additionally, we do have a debriefing site set up for on staff or personnel who are working this incident, um, and there are mental health professionals set up there for them as well. Um, there was one police officer that was injured with a hat a hand injury um, as a result of making uh, an attack on this uh, incident. But other than that, that have been no additional um, injuries to first responders or personnel responding to this. And as uh, Don mentioned earlier, we will have further updates coming uh, later on in the afternoon. So on a typical day, there would be about 209 students inside the school and approximately 40 to 50 staff members, about 42 staff members. I'll take just a couple of questions uh, before we go back. Clear. So the seven dead, and then nature of injuries, how many injured do you know? Maybe you're being treated still or injuries. I know first responders weren't, but... An officer had uh, a wound from cut glass. That is the only other injury that I'm aware of. Do we know if the injuries of the students are being critical? The three students are deceased. The three students who were shot are deceased. Three staff members who were shot are deceased. Uh, that's a total of six victims. And then you have the shooter who was engaged by two of our police officers, part of a five-member team, and she is deceased for a total of seven individuals. There are no other gunshot victims, non-lethal, that I'm aware of at present. Do you know, do you know how many people were shot? Year? Do you know how many people were shot? before the police engaged the shooter? No. Well, do you know if they shot any anyone after they engaged the shooter? Do you know if the shooter was able to shoot anyone else? Does the shooter have any connection to the school that we know of? We do not know who she is at this juncture. We're trying to identify her. Uh, she does appear to be in her teens. Uh, again, with two assault-type rifles and at least one pistol. Do we know if the lot or previous uh, recent incidents that just back up to the school? No, I'm not. Was there an SRO or an SSO working at the school? 
No, this is a church uh, that operates a private school. Uh, th there was no Metro Police personnel assigned to that building at any time. Tom, do you know if either of the two adults that were shot maybe confronted the gun? You said two? Yeah, the, the adults that were no, shot. No, there, there are a total of three adults. Three adults. Three yeah. adults who have been fatally wounded. Okay, one of them being the shooter? No. No, okay, so three total. Do you so know let, me, let me go over this again. Okay. You have a total of six victims, three students who are deceased, and three adult staff members from the school who are deceased. The shooter herself makes seven. Do you know if one of the three adults maybe confronted her? I do not. There is video from the school that we are viewing now to try to learn exactly how all of this happened. Can you say where the victims were located? Were they in the hallway, in a classroom? I cannot at this juncture. As you know, uh, five of the six were transported. So we will get that information later in the day. Did police engage with the shooter inside a classroom or in the hallway? Do we know the location? Uh, it is an upper level part of the school. It's kind of a lobby type area. It was not in uh, a classroom per se. All right, we'll be back shortly with more detail. We'll uh, tweet out, uh, give you a 15 minute or so notice before the next one, okay? Thanks. I'm Don Aaron with the. Oh, she made her way into the church where they hold a private school for about 200 students. Um, made her way in. She shot six people. One died on the scene. They had three adults and two children transported to the local hospital, which died at the hospital. May they all rest in peace. May their families. Receive prayers. Send your prayers. Send your prayers to these families. You know, to get a call from a school uh, that there's a shooting and your child is one. God only knows how you feel. And our prayers will be sent with you. But... Once we hear some more news, we'll get back to you. Leave your comments. Let us know what you think. These school shootings, these 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 people, like I said, the more that this internet, you know, the internet has evolved our life, right? And we have done so much um growing and, and interconnecting our world, right? The other thing that it does is it gives people opportunity to get weapons. And and they 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 join these factions and they do they do stupid shit like this. They kill people, innocent people, children, for no reason. You know, um, I guess when we learn more, when we have a motive, when we find out if we ever find out why, you know. Um, She was shot and killed, so they won't be able to get anything unless she's left something behind. Unless fam her family and friends know of things she's been saying or tweeting. Um, again, they said in this in this interview that um, she looked like a teen, but further reports state she's 28 years old. Um, no name or nothing yet. But, um... I'm going to keep you updated on this, and uh, the more we learn, I'll do another video later. But send your prayers. Leave your, uh, leave your comments and your thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next one. It's your boy Big Will, Life After Prison. Against three students, three adults, killed in Nashville, Tennessee. By a 28-year-old woman shooter, who is now deceased herself. Police have... Um, engaged in fire with her and killed her. But let me know what you all think. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.